on your screen in more or less the top left hand corner you will see the Visual Studio icon you need to double click on it now this menu structure will open the first thing you do is click on file in the top left hand corner then you click on new and then you'll see this project on your right hand side which you click on when you get to this screen make sure that visual C sharp on the left hand side is highlighted and then click on console app .net framework make sure you don't choose the .net core console app .net framework must be highlighted on the same screen at the bottom you will see that we need to choose the location that is where we will be saving our files while doing the prac you need to click on the browse button in explorer you need to find the local disk c folder in the first column and then in the second column click on temp interesting when you're in explorer at the top of the screen you'll see it shows you where you currently are on the folders so that line there shows that you're on the c drive under folder temp under folder temp there's another folder which has the name of your student number or your user code so you should see your student number there where it says csajhg which is my user code so that's the folder that's been created for you on the pc you now need to click on that folder to indicate that that's the folder that you would want to use you will now be back to the screen and you'll see that the location has now been sent to c temp your user code and every time you come back um, during the session your your program will be saved in this folder now you need to choose a name for your project for the prac that you're writing now or the program and the good protocol would be you was busy with prac one now question one so it's prac one q1 that you type in at name you'll see the solution name at the bottom changes automatically once you've done that you can press the ok button every time you you go into a c sharp a program this code would be generated for you automatically at this stage you don't need to understand any of this code but you will see that this happens when you go into the project where the arrow is pointing is where all your coding will happen throughout this semester so you use your mouse button to click just past the the open bracket there and you'll see the cursor there and then you press the enter key you will see that uh, an open line has now been created and it's ready for you to start typing in your first command. So you type in the command console.writeline hello world. You now want to run your program so you put your mouse to the start button at the top and you click on it for the program to actually run. You would have noticed that a black box just appears on the screen and then disappears so you don't really see hello world being printed on the screen the reason for that is, is that the program starts running and then stops immediately so the output box just disappears to prevent this you have all your programs end with the, the command console.readline it simply means that the program is waiting for you to press the enter key so until you press the enter key the black output dialog box will appear on the screen and you will be able to see your output so this is what you should expect it says hello world if you now press the enter key the output box will disappear because then the program has completed its run what I've done in this slide is remove the first quotes inside the right line and you'll see the squiggly is below it that indicates that there's a syntax error in your code and uh, that this program will thus not compile the first time you run Visual Studio, it might not show the, the description of the errors at the bottom of your screen. In order to get this working, you go to the menu, click on View, and then go down to click, to click on Error List. So you click on View, and then on Error List. You will now see these errors appearing at the bottom of your screen. Unfortunately, the errors don't always make sense. We now know that we've left out the quote but the errors that is given says it's missing a comma you will learn as we carry on to interpret some of these errors and to get used to sometimes not understanding them good luck with your programming session and welcome to the world of programming